And we're gonna try to update Mac OS 26 beta. Tahoe, baby. Man, are we gonna mess our entire M4 Mac Mini up or is this gonna be the coolest thing ever? We're gonna be on that beta joint for the next few months, ugh. So, in order to get the Mac OS 26 beta, we can come over here to beta updates and we'll click the off, the info button and we'll click the uh, little I next to it. And it currently says beta updates are off. You'll have to be logged in to a valid Apple account. And I can click here and then I'll select Mac OS Tahoe 26 developer beta. And then I can click done over here. The check for updates will start again. When I first got my M4 Mac mini, I was on the uh, Sequoia betas. I think it was like 15.3 or 15.4. The Apple store wouldn't allow downloads. And so that was a thing. I'm taking one for the team here, guys, but I do want to check out Mac OS 26 beta. Once I do this, I'll kind of be stuck. You can turn off beta updates and then you'll get the next stable release. But I'm pretty sure the next stable release is just going to be Mac OS 26 Tahoe. If you do this, there can and will be bugs. So at any rate, let's wait for this update. Installing update. Oh boy, we're going to get ourselves in some trouble, baby. Oh wow, it wants to reboot. So y'all are going to get a whole bunch of cock, 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 soup. So on this first boot into Mac OS 26, I got a forever pinwheel here. There's no taskbar and all my widgets are on screen. I think we're just waiting for it to catch up. I'm gonna do like a flash forward. I'm gonna let it do all of its stuff, crunch its numbers, and maybe I'll come back to you when it looks a little better. Oh yeah though, we're on Mac OS 26 Tahoe. I shouldn't have did it. Okay, my awesome friends, we have Mac OS Beta 26 installed. We can pull up our About Mac, and we can go right down here and see Tahoe 26. I can already see differences. Look at the corners of the windows. They're more rounded. Okay, we can see the icons. Uh, my system is set to dark mode, but the icons are different and we'll wanna jump in there because we wanna see that liquid glass setting. The trash can has changed. We can still empty it like normal, but it has different graphics. The buttons look a little different. Now, I used to be a fan of Launchpad, but it's gone. Now we get this little applications thing that pops up. What is it called? It's called apps. I really liked Launchpad, so I don't know if this is going to grow on me or not. Pull up settings. So if we click apps, if I click on the A, we go to the old spotlight search. And then if I move down, I can search for just my applications. I can search files, actions, or the clipboard. And now it has clipboard history. Let's enable that. I'm going to go over here off screen and I'm going to copy just my path location. So let me copy that. And now, if I go in there, Yeah, we can see, I just copied that. So as you copy and paste, you can have a history here. That's really nice. You can search through your files. Yeah, that's cool. And the animations look really good. Check out that kind of liquid animation. Maybe if I do this. Oh yeah, that's pretty fancy, baby. Let's go over to settings and check out appearance. I know that's changed up a little bit. So we can go light mode or dark mode, which I totally prefer. You can change your theme colors, graphite or multicolored. Let's check out these new icons. So default, we have dark, which is what I was set to. And then we have clear. I think that's that liquid glass part. Let's try light. Ooh, I almost like light better, even though I like a dark theme, but like clear and then light. Let's switch that back. Eh, I don't know, that's pretty cool too. Uh, tinted. Ooh, do I like tinted? Let's try light. Ooh, there's tinted light. I kind of like that, I don't know yet. Which new icons do you guys like the best? I think I'm gonna go with clear, dark for now. Folder color can be automatic or you can change it to all this different stuff. You can select any color you like. These little slider buttons look a little different. Okay, okay, cool. Let me open up uh, files or finder. I think somebody said something about folders. Let me just try to click on one of these. Maybe get info? I don't know. I know that you can change folder colors and even add like emojis, but I don't know how to actually edit that. Okay, here we go. Customize folder. Yeah, see? So you can change your folders to any color and you can even add like an emoji. That's kind of neat. And then if I clear it, how do I go back to the regular color? 
remove all tags. There we go, goes right back to normal. I used to edit these just with like a JPEG or a PNG file, but this makes it a lot easier. I like how the menus look. Let's see if we can pull up web page. Can I find out what's new? Here we go, this is just from five hours ago. New design unlocks even more ways to personalize the Mac so you can get real into those colors, that's cool. So if you have different colored uh, wallpapers, it looks like these widgets are colored like that. Oh yeah, that's the liquid glass part, right? So this is just talking about all the different ways to personalize it, that's really cool. So while I thought it was cool to have the uh, Tahoe wallpaper, maybe I'll get busy with like my main wallpaper. Let's try that really quick. I see this too, you see all the different icons? So I have a, an image app, but there's not a dark or clear icon for that. I guess the application will have to supply that. Let's go over here and let's try to pull on, we'll edit my widgets. Let's pull the uh, weather widget down here. Yeah, does that do the color? Let's pull it up here right where it's pink. Okay, we'll say done. It doesn't really color match perfectly, but yeah, I guess I see it. Let's pull it over here to green and just see. I mean, I guess it's doing something, right? Normally for me, that lives down here. And yeah, Bob's your uncle. I think it's pretty nice. The new design elevates iconic elements of Mac OS, making them at once fresh and timelessly Mac. There are more ways to customize what controls appear in Control Center, the menu bar, along with how they're laid out. We'll try to play with that in a minute. Sidebars and toolbars in apps are crafted from liquid glass. Okay, I think they're talking about this stuff. Bringing more focus to users' content. And that that's like over here too. Well, I don't see liquid glass here. I guess they may be talking about this. We have Apple Intelligence, okay. New continuity experiences with phone app and live activities. That's great. Now, last year I switched over to an Android phone, so I wish I could show this. They say now you can make phone calls from your iPhone right in Mac OS. It can put your calls on hold, like if you're calling the, the electric company or Xfinity and they have you on hold, your iPhone will call you back. You can get voicemails through Mac OS, call screening and hold assist, so it's the, the phone app is a lot better. And incoming calls look beautiful on the bigger screen, blah, blah, blah. Live activities from a user's nearby iPhone will now appear in the menu bar. So cool. If your Uber's coming, it'll let you know. The biggest update to Spotlight ever. Now, I don't love this. I used to love my Launchpad that pulled up that whole full screen thing. I really liked Launchpad. I just don't know if I'm gonna like this better. You guys let me know what you think. Oh yeah, we can do actions through Spotlight. We can send an email right from Spotlight without ever opening up the mail app. Okay. We can search items right from the menu bar. I don't know what that exactly means. I mean, it looks really cool. Also note, this is the very first beta, so there's gonna be bugs. Spotlight introduces quick keys, which are short strings of characters that get users right to the action they're looking for. Like there's one for Chrome, I think, CH. You know, you can pull up a website in Chrome. Let's try to pull up that animation again and see if we can see. Replay. So SM is send message. AR is add reminder. All right, that's cool. So we can do a lot more with Spotlight. And that's this thing. Let me just do SM. Send message with the messages app. It's pretty cool. I have to learn them all, right? We have new Apple intelligence features with live translation. Shortcuts get more intelligent. You know, I've heard a lot about this, about the shortcuts, and I don't normally use shortcuts, but I think I'm gonna have to start playing around with it. Hmm. Oh, I forget, we also now have Journal. There's a new app. I think there's four new apps, actually, with one being Journal. I guess I can just pull up apps, search for it. Yes, yeah, so we have a Journal app now. So we can start journaling right here. It'll be uh, synced up to our iPhones and our other Apple devices. Ooh, another one that I know about is gaming. Yeah, the games app. So now instead of just having an app store, you have a specific games app. And inside of it, you get your Apple Arcade, all other games, and then like the uh, Apple Game Center or whatever it was where you can have high scores and whatnot, play and compete with friends. Apple Games personalized experience. So we can find out information about that, but yeah, we can get down to everything that we like in our games, from Apple Arcade to our entire library of installed games and installing more. 
So I guess it's cool that there's a new games app. I hope Apple keeps doing more with games. Will we ever have Steam and Grand Theft Auto V? I don't know, but they're trying. Okay. Safari got better. The Messages app brings backgrounds, polls, and a redesigned details view. Journal comes to Mac. Photos is updated with a new design. Now, I don't use Photos, I use Image, but we can open it just to see. New collections, more utilities. Okay, so you have your Photos. Self-host your own image. I don't like Photos, no iCloud for me. Oh yeah, there's a new accessibility feature called Magnifier. It's supposed to be good, you can use your camera. At any rate, this is the Magnifier app and it has, uh, you, I don't know why we would need this, but it, it lets you zoom in and out on your camera. You can take a picture of something and blow it right up on the computer. So if you, you know, had eyesight issues, it might be something you wanna do, you can hold up your, you know, your phone with a message on it and blow it up real big. So that's Magnifier. Passwords was updated, it now saves previous passwords, like if you change them. And yeah, this is really cool. I'm gonna shut that article down. Let's play around a little bit um, in Control Center. So it said there's a lot more that we can do over here. So let's click Edit Controls and see what we have. Oh yeah, look at that, this is way bigger. So you can totally modify this. There's stuff for tiling window managers, start screensaver, music recognition, that's cool. Voice memo, I like that. So yeah, you can add a lot more stuff now. And I'm gonna have to really get in there and see what I want. But yeah, this is really cool. Now playing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through here and really modify this. Like for me, I'd like to have a record screen. You know, I have it recording right now. So do I just drag that right up here? Okay, yeah, so here's a record screen button. Yeah, that's cool. That'll be nice just to be able to click a button right up here. And I don't even have to open up the notifications. Is that what this is? Or control center? So yeah, there's a lot more in control center and that's gonna be worth digging into. Now, one thing I do notice is I don't like these blue icons. And if I scroll over here to my other screen, now let me open it. Okay, yeah, so that's that different icon. I don't know that I like these clear ones or the tinted or whatever. So I'm gonna play around with that. But it is neat to see that it changes the colors. Now, I don't like that blue at all, so I might choose something else. Hey man, this looks really good. I dig it. However, would I install it on my main system? No, I wouldn't. You can see right now, my computer's CPUs are running at 85 degrees. And if I turn it on my set fan curve, that's gonna blow me up to like 3000 RPMs. So I think that Mac OS 26 is, is either buggy or not yet fully baked, but it looks beautiful. That was just a quick look, guys. Um, I'm happy that I got to play around with it. I'm gonna pull this activity monitor over just to show you. So as I was playing around over there, I see this process. Right now it's using 84%. There, 493% of the CPU. So VT encoder, XPC service. I just don't think uh, things are completely cooked. This is the day one beta, so that's to be expected. But anyway, let me know down in the comments below. Are you gonna install the beta Mac OS Tahoe? Or are you gonna wait till it fully drops in a few months? I'm gonna play around with it the whole way, but I think these early days aren't gonna be easy sailing. All right, guys, tech art out.